So are you all getting ready to go back to school? Yeah. And, and you're going to go over school for the first. Actually, you started in kindergarten already, didn't you? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Miss Kaylee, I'm going to ask a favor of you. I want you to turn around. And there are three pictures inside my magic box today. Would you get those out for me, please? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'm a lady out on the floor, and I want you to tell me if you think there's any sort of common theme. We got a man behind bars. What, what do you think this is? Not sure. It's a blind man. Okay. This is a tough one. This is blind justice. The idea that justice cannot have any partiality to anybody because of who they are. It has to be the same for every person. Okay. And then this one. This one gives me a laugh. You ever see that picture? It's from the 50s. He, the little boy, I don't know what he did, but, but looks like, uh, you ever watch Leave it to Beaver? It looks like Lord <coughs> Cleaver is giving him a spanking. Well, what do you think is the theme for all three of those things? Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. We were talking about three things today. I want to talk to you about justice, about punishment, and about mercy. Three things. Now, were you all paying attention to the Old Testament lesson for today? Well, I know you were because you read it. But we've got a story about... Um, and, and we find out later on that it's King David that's done this really bad thing. But the story of King David, we're going to learn all about that at the news club because that's one of our themes for the show. King David was king of Israel about 3,000 years ago. And on the whole, he was a really good person, but he made some really bad decisions at some point in his life. Yes? Okay, you know what? We've got a totally different sermon there, so I'm going to cut you off. Okay. But, but, but justice should be that, that everybody is treated fairly and that truth prevails and that people are treated as brothers and sisters in Christ, because we are all part of God's creation, and therefore we are all part of one family, we are part of the human family that God made, and God, through Christ, redeemed. But, sometimes, we get away with things, so. True. Now, now, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to give up the secret to whoever's out there, but I just want to show of hands, if you ever gotten away with something naughty and not had to pay a penalty? Okay, now, Aaron, you're the one now. Are you that cynically among us? You got away with something, didn't you? The grin says it all. <laughs> we often get away with things that really we should have paid a consequence for. Maybe that consequence is as simple as time out. Maybe that consequence costs us money or our parents' money. Maybe, in its worst way possible, it could take away somebody's livelihood, somebody's house. Yeah? Yeah. So, David didn't immediately get the consequence that was owed him. The story is that he took somebody else's wife. Now, the story that we just read, it was a little lamb, and the lamb is kind of an analogy for us to figure out 
uh, what it is that actually was taken. But Nathan, the prophet, is really, really angry at him, and he shows it, it shows it to him in the form of a story. And then David, when he takes himself out of the picture, is really upset too. You know, that's kind of like justice being blind. When we're the one that's faced with a penalty, or we're the one who did wrong, we may try and make justice be what we want it to be. But God's justice is always that he treats all of us the same. So, what, you know, talking about punishment, what happens if we get away with it? Was a wrong still committed? No. Yeah? So we're not what? So we don't learn our lesson. Well, sometimes the guilt eats us up and we, we become our own punishment. But every time we get away with something like that, we have to acknowledge the fact that it is still sin. Now, who can give me a definition of what sin is? Miss Charlie, you know from Good News Public? What's something you think, say, or do? That does not please God. Awesome, I thought. <laughs> Something you think, say, or do that does not please God, and all of these things have, uh, uh, yeah, they're a sin. Yeah, all of these things have a penalty to them. So this is where we go from punishment to mercy, because God's justice is always that somebody's got to, somebody's got to pay this. So the things that we get away with. Jesus takes on the cross. All of the things that we've failed to do, or we have done, which have not pleased God, he takes away from us. When we read the psalm a few minutes ago, that's the psalm, the poem that, that David wrote when he realized that he had not pleased God. Yes, Bennett? So mercy means like... Mercy... Okay, that's one way of putting it. How about this? Punishment is where you get what you deserve. Mercy is where you get what you don't deserve. Like a cookie. How about like eternal life? How about like the ability to have an abundant life here and now because God loves us so much that he wants us to, to walk with him? Uh, If you want your sister or brother, what? If you take something from them, is that what you said? Yeah. And, and you know, there's probably going to be a consequence or a penalty for that. But that brother or sister might show you mercy and grace by saying, it's okay, I forgive you. That's one of the ways that we can show mercy to each other is by offering freely forgiveness. Yeah, and say sorry. Yeah, absolutely. So does anybody have any questions about punishment or about mercy? <coughs> okay, then you what's your something to say? Then that's a gift, yes. That's a little different than taking it from them when they don't have it. So this week, what I want you to remember. And I want you to, maybe this little will just kind of go in your head and it'll come out in those times that you do something naughty and you don't have to pay the penalty. Always remember, Jesus paid the penalty. And whether or not we get in trouble in this life, had it not been for Jesus, we would have been in trouble in the next. But because of his great love for us, and because he offered himself on the cross for us, we can have that perfect justice and perfect peace that only God can give. Amen? Amen. Thank you. I did pull a picture of mercy because I figured you could figure that one out on your own. Amen. Amen.